Uh, and and we're live. Okay. Ooh. Welcome to the weekly pool, guys. I'm Benny the Comic Story, and joined by the entire Justice League. <laughs> okay, so what we have today? Let's see if I can do this. That is Sal. He's okay. I'm just gonna go. Sal's Batman. Uh, he's over at TV Little House. He's Batman. We got Faust. He's Aquaman. You, know, you got to give him Aquaman. He's so he's he's over from. It, it's super effective. We've got Armini. He's Wonder Woman, and he's from. Uh, <laughs> Have an actual woman, and he's Wonder Woman. <laughs> no, I'll gladly take it. <laughs> I, I only have so many Justice League members to go through. I'm already running out of the important ones. <laughs> Firestorm, Brewster Gold, Blue Beetle, Bloodwind. Fine, uh, fine, fine. You get to be Blue Beetle. You can. Be no Wonder one wants woman. to be Happy? Bloodwind. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Bloodwind wants to be. That that, that is. That, I remember is, blood that is Rob from Marvel Explained, <laughs> aka Comics Explained, also known as John Stewart the Green Lantern. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm actually actually that was totally unplanned, and I had no idea that I was considered John Stewart from Green Lantern, but I will happily take that mantle on. <laughs> and and the last guy on the list is Joel. He gets to be Alfred. <laughs> God damn it, Master Bruce! I'm gonna throw this hot tea in your face. <laughs> I drew well, at least even talk, man. This this is Superman actually after a couple of years he's been eating a lot of Cheetos and just playing <laughs> internet games, you know. He's got a couple a little extra beer going here. He's just kind of giving up, you know. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'd also <laughs> like to take this time to tell everybody in the chat to take this moment to just let Benny know how fantastic his hair looks. Oh, because he's, he's been, been working on it the entire pre-show. <laughs> yeah, the whole show. He's been like, "Guys, please what no, okay, so here's the so my hair do my hair thing because I got commented on my Q and A this morning. I think what is wrong with your hair? So I don't normally make appearances early in the week like on these things. So when I get my hair cut, I get the side shaved so it grows into the fade that I'm looking for to go with everything. But if but the first couple of days is like just like a, a nuclear explosion happened on my head. I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> See, people are saying that like Benny's competing with uh, Faust for like the best hairstyle, which I'm, I think I needs to happen. I'm working on it. It's so hard. His hair is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need to have that. We need to have like the top three hairstyles of like the YouTube comic book YouTubers. Like, I would like that. <laughs> have like Faust, Faust and Benny in number one, one too. Faust gets number one. Faust does we'll get number one. Only show his oldest of videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I get that reference. <laughs> Man, watch Mojo. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> All right, so, yeah, that's what's going on my hair. And I, my goal is to eventually compete with Faust for the hairdo. I'm working on it. You know, every time that I'm like, oh, it might look okay, Faust shows up with a better hairdo. It's so it's kind of like, I what's the heck? Yeah. The best part is I'm going, back, I'm going back to my blue and red hair because people prefer that. Oh. What, what I mean, I'm a Kentucky, like, I'm from really Kentucky, and beard. we have the Kentucky Wildcats, so blue and, blue and white hair needs to come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so guys, um, first thing I want to say is we've decided to go more on format, more keep it on topic. We we have agreed to give you guys that weird episode once a month where we yeah. do just go off the cuff, but it will be put with a disclaimer and it will be the weird poll where basically we don't know where this, this discussion is going to go. Yeah. So the other three days, three week days out of the, uh, the month, we will be giving you a proper podcast. So today we're going to be talking about... Uh, the Bad Girl Controversy, which is why Tiffany from TV Little House fame is joining us. Thank mm -hmm. you for being here today, Tiffany. Of course. Um, and we are also going to be discussing the new releases for Convergence and Marvel Secret Wars. We're going to get as far as we can within our allotted time slot, but that is like 90-something books. It's, so it's yeah. nuts, man. It's absolutely crazy. We can skip crazy. a couple of these, I think. <laughs> But well, that's why we have so many people on the podcast today because we're going to get everyone's varying opinions and everyone will just take a book and talk about it off this list. So, <laughs> might as well, man. I mean, it'd be the easiest way. Like, everybody take two books. <laughs> <laughs> just split it all up. Yeah. So, and Haggis explained we'll be on the next weird poll. We'll have that. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll have Faust and he will give us the intricate nature of how it is that Haggis is made and why it even exists in the first place. So, he's going to be so pissed. <laughs> it's from the Haggis Dragon. Uh, <laughs> the Haggis Dragon. <laughs> wow, I, I want to see where that one goes. So All right. Much. So let's let's go ahead and start our topic today. Our first topic, the Batgirl situation. Um, yes. as, I, because I did the joke opening, just so you guys know, uh, today we have Comic Story and we have Comics Explained, we have TV Little House, we have It's Super Effective, and we have two guys from his co uh, comic book cast. Everyone can be found by what I just said, and all their links will be in the description down below when Rob fixes it, because I know he didn't do it at lunch. Oh. <laughs> Way to call the man oh. out. Actually, uh, he's 100% right. <laughs> I will have you know. That is true. I will have you know that he's not wrong. I resemble those remarks. 
So our first topic of the day came out earlier today. We were we were just going to talk about Converted and Seager War and their issues, but because this happened today, we figured it'd be a great topic to talk about. They released a cover for Batgirl, what a preview of the cover that was coming up. It was a reference to the Killing Joke, in which the Joker shot her in the stomach, paralyzed her, and uh, various other things. I mean, you, you can, you can. I think, you, I think all of us have covered it at this point, so you can go see what's happening with the Killing Joke. Yeah, um, nasty bad things that you yes. know. But the but, problem but, is, I'm sorry, I have to stop you right there, Benny. The Joker's Hawaiian shirt was fantastic. <laughs> it really was. It was like, pretty it amazing. <laughs> Oh, he does. Well, it's, it, it's because, you know, he's wearing a tropical shirt, but he's so white. So, like, he really needs the sun. You know, God, it looks man. like he's on vacation and he can but really not use the it. tan. Uh-huh. Didn't work out. No. By the way, can we also alternatively call this episode How I Got Blocked by Cameron Stewart on Twitter? <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? We're going to get, gonna get okay. to that in a minute. We're not there yet. We're not there I gotta yet. I got to know. Okay. All right, so anyway, so what ended up happening is the cover came out. Um, there was a, a series of backlash for a number of reasons. Uh, people not liking it being referenced. People deciding that the new Batgirl's direction is a little more kid-friendly. And how can you have kid-friendly and then reference these awful incidents that happened to her? A, um, a whole number of things. Yeah. And the artist requested the cover get pulled, and it has now been pulled down. So now, now that the cover has been pulled, not only do you have the original people who were fighting against the cover, but now you have an entire core of people who are fighting to keep the cover. A bunch of people <laughs> yelling censorship who I don't think quite understand the definition of censorship. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that is what the situation is. Now, um, we brought Tiffany here, and Sal, you know best what's going on with the with the camera situation, so why don't you guys take point in the discussion of this Okay. Uh, well, as we know, Cameron Stewart's the right on Batgirl, uh, Eisner Award-winning author, and he uh, he's one of the most vocal, or at least the most oh, like uh, obvious... Uh, uh, Take your words carefully. Yes, <laughs> he's not a fan. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And I don't like. I don't know necessarily. I can't say whether he asked to have it pulled, but he certainly has said publicly that the cover, the variant cover that we're talking about. By the way, a variant cover uh, yeah, was not, never not uh, was was never run by him or uh, the artist on Batgirl, mm-hmm. uh, and so he never got to approve it. Which, like, I yeah. don't think that's ever a thing. Uh, first of all, so you know, sorry for that. Uh, and second, that it completely violates the tone that they're going for with Batgirl. It, t- it changed the entire spirit of the book, and so, like, he was happy to see it go. Um, and then okay. you jump on Twitter, and he was kind of like e- explaining and then reinforcing his point. And anyone who jumped on Twitter and either, I found, you know, what's funny. The, the what I noticed was actually one of our one of our uh, viewers reached out to me on Twitter, and he was like. Got blocked by Cameron Stewart. Uh, I said so, and he t- showed me the tweet. Incredibly tame, something like, you know, I don't even understand what's go- like. I don't understand the controversy. Blocked. <laughs> and this wow. comes on the heels of Stewart getting into a big old Twitter war with Eric Larson. Yeah, just and recently. That's another reason why Tiffany's here. Yeah, off the back, which which that's a whole nother kettle of oh, fish. I, I don't want to get into the Eric good Larson. Good for thing. Batgirl in general, no. like. No. no. And we, well, it's been a lot. Of, you know what? I, uh, there's an old Hollywood saying: "There's no such thing as bad publicity." Right. And <laughs> but the only the, the only thing that is bad is that like you're pulling this pu- this cover that will be in the news because of this bullshit, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yeah. Uh, and so you know now you're not you're losing sales, and especially trumped up uh, overinflated sales because of the variant cover. So it's going to be yeah. it would have been you know that much more expensive. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Uh, and I, it's funny because I remember a week ago seeing the outcry and showing you mm-hmm. and going, is this offensive? And then you were like, not really. And I'm like, fair enough. Nah. And then today it explodes. I'm like, oh, it was like a time bomb. Even non-comic readers in my Twitter feed were going off about it. I'm like, were you guys even reading the book? No. no? Yeah. Okay. Right? Just checking. Yeah. I mean, overall, how do you guys feel about the cover? You've all seen it, right? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean... I mean I didn't understand, like, I didn't realize at the time that they were going for a lighter tone on Batgirl, because I really haven't gotten to the new 52 Batgirl yet. Like, she oh, just yeah, wasn't I, I, I will say this. this I don't know who's been reading Batgirl, if I'm the only one. I don't know. Have you been reading? Good. So, I, yeah, they are they are completely changing the tone. It's actually a fun debate that Sal and I keep having as to how old is she supposed to be now. Because <laughs> I've been in on that, too. I've been in on that, too. Yeah. yeah. Because it, I, I, while I do enjoy the book, I mean, when you poke at it, you're like, is she, like, 32? A little too old to be dressing like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, by the way, not to say that like, she shouldn't be dressing like that. I'm just saying, like, she's she's tweeting it up and she's hanging with yeah. you. Know, and I'm like, you're 30. Like. 
moving to the past. And, 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 and what, what makes it even funnier is like she's been established as this very level-headed, very together woman who's got a nice career. She dresses very conservatively when she's not in costume. Oh yeah. And and then they did a complete 180 on that. And they're like, oh, now she's trendy. Now she's wearing doctors. Yeah. Now she, yeah. <laughs> oh, but guys, there might be a reason for that. They're building up to what the reason for that might be. Oh no, they, they've already explained. They were, they already revealed that. Yeah, and you know, and that should have people more pissed off. The thing yes. where they're like, hey, you know that Gail Simone la run you loved before and was critically acclaimed and sold great? That was an evil computer in control <laughs> of her mind. How did that actually happen? I want to ask you guys a question, though, regarding, because I'm a man who loves variant covers. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, when that came out, I have every cover up on my wall. I absolutely nice. love all of them. Now, a lot of those covers don't necessarily reflect what's in the comic. And I know, like, Star Wars number one has... Co has covers, and I'm like, well, I don't want my daughter to see next. It's like a little more, you know, mm -hmm. out there, yeah. and I'm like... Probably so the J. Scott the... Campbell cover, yeah. Right, so what is the difference Well, that was my here? point. That, that was my thing. Like, it's one thing if they said, okay, like, this one issue is going to be a total breakaway from her storytelling so far, which has been more, you know, preteen friendly, yeah. and just make it, like, really sadistic. It's not like they're rewriting the killing joke. She's not going to get shot again. Right. And so, like, all it was, the cover was just a homage to one of the most pivotal moments in Batman continuity, you know, yeah. let alone, like, Batgirl continuity. And so I, th I think that it wasn't terrible. I mean, I think it was kind of a cool thing. I think it was kind of a cool way to maybe, at the very least, give a tip of the hat to really old readers who had right. who had read the Killing Joke, and who just you know was like, "Hey guys, look, like we still haven't forgotten. It was still a great story. Here's just our acknowledgement that yes, it's still a great story." And then just leave it at that. I mean, it, <laughs> well, and they were know. running they they were running like it's Joker Week, so every book in yeah, DC every. has a Joker version yeah. of like has a Joker themed cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna do a Batgirl book, and they're like, "Oh, Joker's gonna be in your Batgirl cover," what there. story are you gonna pay? Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, you're gonna do the Killing Joke because what's their relationship? <laughs> that. Yeah. Um. That now that's that that said, I, I've actually been thinking about this a lot, and I had a lot of time to do it because I was in the car all day. And uh, one of the things that I one of the things that I was thinking about was uh, somebody like somebody on Twitter changed the eyes. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was like oh, a, to make an it where edit. She's more they, they defiant instead the, of more of a victim. Yeah, I have she's seen much that. less uh, submissive and much more angry about Joker brutalizing her. Yeah, and they said that changes everything. Number one, does it? Number two. Uh, I should say, like, I was re-examining the cover, and does it depict a woman being brutalized? I say yes. Uh, well, what they're saying is that it references the killing joke right. and the controversy that arrived around the killing joke in general, because there were two schools of thought on that. Either they didn't get, like, care for the fact that it was, like, the girlfriend in the refrigerator. Yes, the old girlfriend in the refrigerator. They said it was that syndrome, and other people said, no, it wasn't that at all. Right. And the people who agreed with that now are going to have an issue with it. And then you have a bunch of people who are just like, well, no, I just want to I want to yell about this. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, to them, they see it and that's what they think of, as opposed to examining the cover itself and examining the character who are involved. The fact is, it's not the Punisher who's doing this, who is a questionable hero to begin with. It's a villain. It's a villain that we know is batshit insane. It's, it's a villain who we know is almost the essence of evil who's doing this. In no way are they saying that this is a rational action. In no way are they saying that this is something you should try to do. This is a fact of this world, unfortunately. Yeah. This happens. And sometimes we have to face that. We have to understand that this type of thing happens in the world. Yeah. And if you can't look at it on a, on a comic book cover, then how can we even begin to start accepting that it happens and trying to fix it? That is yeah. an amazing point. And let's also keep in mind, too, if, if what, what DC was really looking to do here was to take the idea of the killing joke and say, okay, let's find a way to victimize Batgirl and put that on the cover. Right. They could have taken the scene where the Joker had shot her and then took pictures of her yeah. and just like, yep. put that on the cover. Which, it was by the clearly way, not yeah, designed to be that way. That's another thing that's blowing my mind because I'm hearing new interpretations or new interpretations of the killing joke that I either chose not to interpret or just never got yeah which is the time between the photographs being taken right. and when batgirl was taken to the hospital mm. and apparently there's like implied rape in that situation yeah i read about that too that was also not something that i i would never have assumed interpreted. the joker like i don't i don't i don't know about you guys and this is this is talking from like 20 years of reading comics and and just 
be and an English teacher. I never saw the Joker as a sexual being. Yeah, I always saw yeah. him as being very asexual myself. Yep. Like he he just doesn't do that. Right, and it's it, it like he mu- and that's also why Brian Azarella's Joker really bothers me. Oh but, yeah, because he brings the sexuality. Mm-hmm. Into it's like the why? Character. Like who cares? Also, like thanks for your fan script for you know Batman three, but uh, <laughs> the um but the fact like also the Harley Quinn thing like when she was first created, I'm like why does Joker need a girlfriend? He doesn't have a, like he doesn't need one of those, but. But they really kind of played that up in the show where he's like, she's interested in him and he's like, Neh. yeah, that's that's um, exactly what I was going to say. Like, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, oh, just just the fact that, like, would the Joker use rape in his in, like as one of his many acts no. of violence? I don't like, I, I think I don't know. I would never put anything past the Joker. But as far as the killing joke's concerned, I don't think that I, I never interpreted it to be that way. No, I interpreted like the the nude pictures of her. It's supposed to rattle Jim it's Gordon. It's supposed to rattle exactly. Gordon. It's 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 her in her most vulnerable state. Yeah. And it's that connection of father and daughter. Right. Not like a lording over, you know, male over female like right. thing that's happening. Like that's just how I interpreted it. Of course it is it is up to interpretation. It is up to interpretation. So yeah. people are gonna see it either way. But so is the cover then. And the fact is, you have one group saying, like, no, it's this, and that's, and then they, they're completely unwilling to accept anything else. Yeah. And now it's been pulled. And whether or not that's right, well, yeah. And it's that, really up to everyone's interpretation. That's true. DC's going to cover their ass. Like, whether it was the artist who asked to pull it or the writer who asked to pull it, no matter what, they're a business and they're going to pull it because yeah. they're worried about that. On the other hand, when that um, ridiculous cover the for Spider-Woman Spider Woman came, out, came out, they didn't pull that. No, they yeah. put a logo but, over it. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. By the way, that's where the logo goes. So I don't really like. I, I would. I would have to compare. Like, if they made the logo a little bigger, just. <laughs> yeah, and and, and you even know, like I'd... in that case, like not to dig up an old thing where it's like the Spider Woman cover. It's like you got an artist of erotica. Of course he drew. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Once you dug like, her, you were like, okay, well, how, what, what were you expecting? But but at no point did anyone yelling about it mention that it was representing brutalizing a woman so therefore they're like well whatever i don't care right. like, i don't care if it like if, sexualizes if it people. sexualizes women or it might demean them i don't care about that but dc's worried mm. about this overall image yeah like and when you come down to it they're business and that's what they're going to worry yeah. about yeah well I, th- I think the problem is is the killing joke itself because you said it best because uh, sal and i were talking about this when i had to write the killing joke storyline yeah there are that for what is literally just a story about Joker trying to rattle Jim Gordon and trying to prove to Batman that a one bad day can mess with a man, and then Jim Gordon proving that he's better than that yep. has turned into by interpretation Batman killing the Joker, the you know Batman going insane with the Joker, yep. there being mm-hmm. supposed rape, there being yep. all these other things, which is why when I even did the story for Killing Joke myself, I was like, we're just gonna touch on because because we're already gonna get yeah. controversy. We're just gonna be like bad things happen and just leave right. it. Here's that. what yeah. happens in the panels I'm looking at. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's because of that yeah. that and the fact that no one has actually read the Killing Joke at this point. Like that that's the biggest problem I think. Most people know of the Killing Joke. What's the Killing Joke? Oh, that's the Joker's origin story and the one where he raped Batgirl. Did you read it? Do you know? You know. And yeah, then people I mean, just assume that and they see that image and like, oh, so we're just gonna. We're going to bring up the woman he raped Batgirl. For the record, this is where it kind of irritates me with them censoring that. First off, it's the variant. So it's not the main storyline. So you're only going to get that if you're looking for this awesome piece of art. Secondly, um, the Killing Joke storyline, they want to pretend like it didn't happen. But the problem is, that is, like you said, Tiffany, what happened in this world. It's a make-believe world that the comic books do reference quite a bit. Like when Death of the Family happened, and they were like, Batgirl, do you want to sit this one out? And she's like, no, I'll deal with this, you yeah. know? Yep. And, and things like that. All Batgirl is built on the back of the Killing Joke. Right, right. she recovered line. from it. Not only that, yeah, and like a- they've, I was going to say, just sorry not to oh, no. steamroll you guys, but like, they've done numerous books pre new 52 pre like new like logos where batgirl slash oracle deals with the joker oh yeah and like and she also has like a like a photographic memory or something like that so she'll like never forget right and like but they've had her come to terms with what happened and fight the joker or deal with him in some way like We've seen that that uh, that combat and that right. like that that come back again and again. Well, not just that, Stuart but I mean, himself even makes mention of it in this newest run in an art gallery where there's a bloody wheelchair. Right, he right. Himself is making reference yeah, to in it. this in this supposed teen friendly like teeny bopper like bubblegum chewing book adventure. Right. Yeah. 
No, I, I can I can understand the artist's problem with it. Like the, the writer, where he's like, "Well, look, we didn't approve this. We're trying to go away from the old school. Right. Be, be, we want to make her more teenage friendly, and I really don't appreciate the cover." Him taking a stance where he's like, "I don't like it." Fine. Yeah. The internet going on insane uproars over that thing is a little much. It, it yeah. is a bit much. It is a bit much. It definitely is. I mean, look, the fact is, like, I understand, like, people. There are people out there who will always look at the Killing Joke and be like, "No, this is." just a woman being used in order to like make a male character stronger. There's there's going to be people out there and you're never going to change their mind. But even if you look at it like that, then you have to look at what comes afterwards because the fact is after Barbara Gordon is crippled, she's she, actually a way better character. She, she <laughs> comes back, she becomes stronger. Yeah. Oracle's a way more and developed I mean, like, and interesting a developed character. character. But I mean as a as a human being alone, she is able to get over a crippling yeah, injury. Literally. And yeah, literally. <laughs> and become ba basically like Batman's right hand man. And not just helping not to support the, not him. Not only Batman, but she, the DC universe is exactly. right. Exactly. So I mean, the fact is, like, if you're gonna examine her from that perspective, then you have to examine what comes afterwards. And otherwise you can't talk of it. And that's yeah. how I'm gonna leave it. Well fair enough. But that's that's the problem you have is is people like in this day and age, people select the facts they want. And right. like, like a really good example is, is like I was talking to Benny and Sal about the killing joke and I was like, okay guys, like the killing joke is a story about the Joker's origin. Right. And Benny's like, that's like one part of it. But like this great <laughs> big picture is like Barbara Gordon yeah. being shot and the yeah. aftermath of, you know, what it means for the Batman community with her being shot. And so I was yeah. like, okay. And, uh, and that's that to me, that really kind of hits, hits the hallmark there when you have a person that doesn't really know exactly what's going on with the killing joke, like the significance of the killing joke, until you sit down and read it. And that—that that was that was my stance up until I read it. Like I knew what it was. I knew the significance of the killing joke. I just didn't know what all it entailed. And the problem that you have, I think, is is just like you know, just like Benny said and, and Sal and Tiffany said, is that you have people who say, okay, the killing joke's a story about a woman getting shot, and then like she's paralyzed, and then something about the Joker's origins, whatever, but by God, it's a violent story, and this should not be tied into the current run of Batgirl. And, and they just have no real idea what's going on. And so, you know, I'm really hoping that, that <laughs> at the very least, even if minds can't be changed with regards to mm -hmm. their stance on what's going on and in, in coming to the moment, at the very least, like, Issues like this, despite the fact that sometimes they're blown out of proportion, will go towards the direction of helping people understand, one, it's just a comic book. And two, yeah. like, well, what you see I, on the cover of this comic book is a very significant aspect in the history of her character, of her as a person, of what it is that she used to be, what happened to her, and what she became after that happened. Mm -hmm. And so, like, to me, it's just kind of, I, I don't know, kind of a clearing yeah. up of things, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something, guys, real quick. I know um, Jason Todd is no longer a 15-year-old boy. Right. <laughs> what if? Wait, he what may be had... with the way he acts. <laughs> yeah, tell what me about it. Love sure writes him that way. Yeah. What if they had done a variant For, where... like, Red Hood and the Outlaws. Or something like that, where Joker had cornered a 15-year-old boy dressed like Robin with a crowbar. With a crowbar. Yeah. What do you Ugh. think the reaction would have been? And I bet it would have been very little, even though that shows the... But like brutal, a kid? That shows yeah. possible brutalization of a child, essentially. That's it's, well. That's and that's the difference that you find. Like that's, that's that's what you find. I think people are more apt to jump well, into it, the role of being a white knight when it comes to the depiction of women in, in comics yeah. in an unfair way, more yeah. so than a guy. Instead of just <clears throat> what they really should be doing is just looking at it as a whole and the message that comics as a whole put yeah. out there. Like certainly there are uh, certain tropes and stereotypes you're going to find no matter what. And over time, those might be changing. We'll see. But the fact is, like, if you're going to talk about the brutalization of a woman, then you have to look at it as a child. I mean, the Joker beat to death a 15-year-old with a crowbar based on a hotline. Yeah. Like, if you're going to examine yeah. one thing, you got to examine it all. Now, so and you're talking about that, I'd like to ask you guys something, because um, a lot of people that are going to be watching us that are fans of CBC know I'm a giant Magneto fan, and to that extent, also Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch are two of my favorite characters in comic history. Oh, um, And it, imagine today, as sensitive as the world is, and we see what the internet now gives everybody a voice, and we can pull covers and all that, right? Um. If they were to do the Ultimates number eight, which is a cover I absolutely love because it's detrimental to the story of where the characters are, where Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are looking intimate, right? And they're brother sister. Yeah, if I knew, you, I knew really, you were going that direction. If that was to release today <laughs> with the character with a variant cover of the people from the movie, how quick do you think that would be pulled? Uh, I don't think it would have got tweeted. Words. Yeah, I mean, I think it wouldn't go anywhere. And I'm going to be one of those guys that at New York Comic Con this year, I'm going to have that drawn as a variant, being like, look at me, I'm a, you know, I'm, 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 I'm awesome, Armin. I'm controversial, but... I'm Armin the troublemaker, like my variant cover. <laughs> <laughs> I think a few 
months ago that everyone's kind of gotten over. Bye bye. Well, I don't know how people would react because I mean, the fact is, like, if you know anything about like Japanese culture and like you know anime and manga over there, like that's a big thing for them. Like, oh yeah, they... oh, brother sister love stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're really big mm. into that. And as manga comes, or anime and manga, you know, has invaded like America and American audiences. Like, I'm wondering if people would have that same staunch reaction to it, or would they be yeah, like, yeah, whatever? The Lannisters. Yeah. I don't know. It works for the Lannisters. Yeah, the exactly. See, the thing as long as you're pretty blonde people, it's fine. <laughs> hold, hold, on, everyone, hold on, Faust is trying to speak, and speaking when he speaks, blonde, he's blonde, going to blow up the entire room. He is. Like he people, is people have been saying, like, Faust needs to say something. No, the thing <laughs> that's what he's saying. He, he won't talk, because um, he whispers, he will derail every conversation. <laughs> <laughs> My whole point of view you know, on this whole situation is... The, like, people get brutalized in real life. Women get brutalized. Children get brutalized. And the Joker is a character that will just cause damage for the sake of damage. And there are people out there that would do that. There are, unfortunately, people in our world that are just as insane as the Joker. If you can imagine it, it probably exists somewhere. Mm. And people don't like to think these days. And that's why people are complaining. They're going, oh my god, this made me think of how terrible our world is. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And that's why people are taking offense. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. They are also they're also mistaking the idea that DC is endorsing it. It's like right. they didn't put Batman on the cover doing yeah. that. They didn't put Superman on the cover doing that. They put a lunatic yeah, on the cover the doing that. Yeah, I mean it's it's a defining it's a defining trait. It was the same thing with Carol Danvers. If you guys remember way back when, oh her Carol uh, Danvers, her yeah. rapist uh, baby, yeah, Immortus was yeah. like, I'm going to like plant my consciousness in your body, and you're going to give birth yeah. to me in yeah. like the birth main continuity. <laughs> Yeah, and people yeah, and the Avengers will that have no problem with it. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, the it's, Avengers it's just, just go baby things. crazy. And yeah, and then they're like, like, "Oh boy, isn't it great? You're gonna have a kid." Uh, yeah, from an alien who like took advantage of me. What? <laughs> it's nice that they wrote that in later. That Carol Danvers was like, "No, I don't want to hang out with the Avengers. You guys were jerks to me." Yeah, yeah right, right on. By the way, good call. <laughs> when she uh, when she gets pulled into the X Men, when she becomes whatever her name was in the X Men binary, binary something binary. Yeah, yeah that was the one. binary. And um, she uh, she leaves the X Men and goes back, and like the Avengers are like, "Hey, come back to us," and she was like, "No." <laughs> No. <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys are jerks. Why did yeah. you think it was a good that's idea? Yeah, that's, ex that's like exactly what happens. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I think I think overall we can go with this topic is that basically, I mean, it, it's it's a comic. Uh, all of us here agree that we, it shouldn't have been pulled. Um, right. if, if anything, if anything, I think what this does state is that the internet is going to latch on to whatever they possibly can, even if they don't oh, yeah. fully understand the, what it represents or what is actually going on. They don't uh, understand that. And maybe we've just hit a day and age where instead of just being like, wouldn't this be cool? Look at our Killing Joke reference. Right. DC needs to be like, we can't talk about it anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, my it's... question is, did the art... It's like my thing is like, hey, the writers didn't want it. DC said they didn't have to yeah. have it. Yeah. Did the artists get paid? If so, then okay. Yeah, I mean that's it's it's just it's blindfolded active activism is all it is. It's one person that says, "Oh my God, look at this," and people are like, "Oh my God, let's do something about it," but they have no clue what. It's, I, well, it's so. the internet, and the internet is all about perception. And basically, you do something that DC did it as a you know, oh, this is a callback to a great old story, and one person on the internet started the entire thing with. Hey, guess what? No, you can't do that. You are brutalizing women by referencing a story that is still in the arch and you're still selling. You know, if, yeah. if DC was really going to make a real stand against what happened to the Killing Joke, it'd be written out of continuity. Sales would stop on the book, and yeah. we would just—it would be literally yeah. done. Yeah. But yeah. the New Fifty Two launched, and one of the first things they said was, "Hey, you recovered from that whole spinal injury thing." Right. Right. <laughs> hey, Killing Joke still happened though, right? Yeah. Hey, we still have to give that back to Alan Moore, right? <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I think we need to all ask Alan Moore about this, what he thinks. <laughs> hey, Sal, what would Alan Moore say if he was here? No, the story actually goes that I, I wrote it, like, over a weekend, because I was <laughs> actually obligated to write, like, two more Batman stories. It's true. He actually did have to write, like, he wrote that, like, DC said, he wanted to get out of his DC contract, and they're like, yo, it was two more Batman stories. And one of them was Killing Joke. He's like, oh, right, well, here you go, here's a story. <laughs> it just happens to be. Oh, like, I'm gonna really beat the crap out of Batgirl. He doesn't care. Wonder. But it, that's uh -huh. what's so amazing is that he didn't even like. He didn't even think about it, and it was. And it we're still talking about it. Like he yeah. really disregards that book. If you ever see him like talk yeah. about it in interviews, he's like, "Who cares?" 
Right? Whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're a guy that wrote a book and people are just constantly saying, like, hey, like, I know you did really cool stuff. Like, you did Mad Jim Jaspers uh, and, like, you established the <laughs> multiverse in, like, Marvel Comics. But, like, you did The Killing Joke and it's, like, the only thing that you're known for and the only thing you, you matter for. You did this, for. like, 18-page like, book. Yeah. I would be like, look, like, okay, guys. like I don't It was care. technically an Elseworlds com. <laughs> yeah, it was. And then the gnomes that live in his beard start talking. <laughs> you mean the birds that live there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, I, mean, I, think, I think we can, we, can, we can go with that, though, at this point. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. We're, we're just at an age where, I mean, comic books comic books are held at a higher regard than they were back in the day. Comic books used to get away with a lot more. True. Like, oh, they yeah. could do whatever they wanted. If they retold the story of The Killing Joke today, like, I mean, think about, <laughs> just think about this for one second. Comic books shoved Kyle Rayner's girlfriend into a fridge and it started Literally. an entire movement. And they yeah. just didn't think anything about it. I mean, what, what their demographic is or anything like they're just like, oh, let's just kill his girlfriend. That's fine, whatever. Yeah. Shove her in a fridge. <laughs> well, we need to we need to make a we need to make our male protagonist character have motivation to do something different. Let's kill the girl because yeah. that's shocking. Um, my issue is like at the end of the day, for me, I sh it shouldn't be pulled because it was like self censorship, censorship in general. My issue is like. It's put out there. It's out there. Someone would like the masses told him to put it away, and he did. And that's like for me, that sucks because like people are artists are going to think twice now before producing something. Well, this yeah. isn't even the first cover that's been pulled. They've been doing it for the last couple of. Hey, look at our variant cover. Oh, yanked. Yeah. Now that said, variant covers maybe 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 we'll make variants go away because variants are dumb. So we're gonna use this as Sal's stance on variants. I got it. I just like it's just gouging. Like it's cool art. Like that's awesome. But oh, yeah. like make a poster then. But don't don't charge fifteen dollars for a three dollar book. <laughs> hey, hey, can we pull some variants I think are offensive? I don't like Frank Miller's Catwoman variant. That, that book is <laughs> so <laughs> terrible. Yeah. It just doesn't look oh, bad. I killed true. Rob. I killed, can we pull that? That one's offensive to spines. It's offensive to yeah. cats. It's, it's offensive, a, it's offensive, to, offensive to proportion and anatomy. It's, yeah, it's offensive Biologists to my brain for like trying to understand offensive. it. <laughs> all right, all I right. Okay. All the, oh. <laughs> go ahead, no, go ahead, Faust. Uh, Faust, go yeah. talk, buddy. Do it. I was going to say I find all the Teen Titans variants offensive because my comic shop doesn't get any of them in. <laughs> so they should all just be pulled. Okay, here, man. Here, to end of this variant discussion, I will say this: that with the stupidest variants I ever thought, and I only bought one of them, and then I thought, "What the hell am I doing?" Is when DC first launched the New Fifty Two, they had a black and white version of every cover for like fifteen dollars. Yeah. And it was the stupid, like, yeah, let's get it with no color. Like, <laughs> I bought all of those. <laughs> oh, nice. Wear Why? that for half. Why? All right, so I, I think, oh, I mean, we can, we can rehash the same topic over and over and over. We can talk about this all day. So I think we should move on to our second topic, which is the massive list on our sidebars here that we Man. have of books. And we will start at the beginning. I, I will go through the list, and you guys can pick one, and we'll discuss it. We'll try to keep it under like five to three minutes per book. But if we have to sit and talk about it, three minutes per book. There's a hundred well, books. There's like ninety <laughs> books there. So like that's all I'm saying. We got to try to keep it low. Okay. <laughs> and we said that other topic wasn't going to take forever. That we thought we would be done quick, but it turned into a thing. Well, yeah, like if we minutes. take the monarchy of M and talk for thirty minutes, we're going to be here all night oh talking about these God, things. That's all right. So I'll since it once. I will be very quick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So like, Each you know get what? one and then just start talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen here. So TV Little House, you're first. Pick a book and let's discuss. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, are we talking about the canceled books or the continuing books? Or, do, or am I Let's just pick it? anything on this list. It's like 90 titles long. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to just do a really quick, like, I'm just going to knock off a couple. Spider Island, pass. Uh, <laughs> Spider Island's gonna be amazing. No, why? We saw Spider, Spider Island. Island. It's awesome. Oh. That's the end of that. Uh, <laughs> Planet Hulk pass. Uh, X Men Two, cool. Um, uh, what's the other thing? Marvel sixteen oh two. She's excited. I am. Yes. yes. I mean, love sixteen oh two too. Oh. But what, by Ever. the way, Peter Parker's uh, okay, dead. My question is, Marvel sixteen oh two. Yes. What's sixteen ten then? The <gasps> Ultimate Universe. Eight years later. Wait, no. Oh, is no, that the no, no, numerical designation for the Ultimate Universe? Yes. There you like, go. Like if, you, if you go to marvel.com <laughs> slash secret wars, like they have 616 as a regular universe. I saw that. That's new though. And the universe as 1610. If, by the way, if Marvel 616 is there, what's the point? <laughs> well, that's okay. But that's the point, man, is, is they're all like, you have all these different realities converging. That's why you have this soul island, which has like Earth 616 and then the ultimate universe and like this tiny little place for a Tillin. Yeah, and a Tillin. <laughs> which... 
Nah. Yeah, you, nobody cares. You forgot. I, I, all right, I'm also on board for the I Vagamato. Yes. And oh, yeah. um, what is it? The Mo- Marvel Monsters or whatever. Marvel Monsters you're very excited about. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, but here's here's my question. Also, renew Vagamato. your vows. Hooray. Really? Yay. What's Marvel <laughs> Monsters about? Like Frank and Castle, and yeah, Frank and Castle's coming back. Yeah, it's 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 kind of it, it's, that is it'll the be right fun. kind of cheese for me. Thank you. <laughs> There's it'll a lot fun, of monster it'll be books because M- Miss Deadpool is going to be uh, what is it? The new Howling Commandos, which yes. is Jack Russell and a bunch of Wait. the other Marvel characters. This is like monsters. Lady Deadpool. I am so okay, Lady psyched Deadpool. to see that. No, it's not even Lady. It's Miss Deadpool because it's Deadpool's wife who is Queen of the Vampires and oh, Queen yes. of the Monster oh, Metropolis. I thought they were bringing back like Lady Deadpool. No, no, oh, it's, it's it's his actual wife because okay, he's dead, so it's got to be her now. <laughs> I, you know, I've been wanting for a while to see something about her because it's like he married Dracula's wife, and now she's a back panel character. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly what happens. No, yeah, that whole digital series about her, didn't they? Where they met, but like Marvel digital isn't as good as DC digital, so you know, yeah. no one cares. <laughs> so Marvel is a digital. They have a <laughs> digital line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, okay. So, I mean, since you knocked off a whole bunch of them, Faust, what are you looking forward to on the reboots or the cancellations here? Oh, the reboots or the cancellations? I, I, I'm i surprised some things are staying, and I'm surprised. Mm. Actually, I'm not surprised most of the things are being canceled other than Batgirl. But <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Batgirl's being canceled? <laughs> yeah, oh, Batwoman. Oh, no, Batwoman. <laughs> But well, 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 you threw me off. Like we just discussed Batgirl and how her new run's doing this, that, and the other thing. And like, and who cares? Done. <laughs> Don't scare us like that. That'll be the last cover. I was, I was like, how did I miss it? <laughs> but like, I'm surprised Teen Titans is still going because yeah, I love the Titans, but I hate this run. Um, and oh, it's it's the media show, run with a like. Before, that's why. That's it's it's look at the what? Teen Titans tweet. <laughs> it's what doing, but not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I just don't enjoy it. And Grayson, I'm surprised, is still going because I was yeah. under the impression it's doing really badly. Should be. No, it's actually doing quite well, actually. We yeah, get a ton no. of views for Grayson every week, actually. Hmm. Well, then maybe I'll start doing some Grayson videos every week. I don't oh, know. God. <laughs> you should. Get them, <laughs> you get should. them Grayson dollars. <laughs> like I, dollars. I, don't have any, I don't have enough videos going up right now. I got one on an 18 hour rotation. That's not enough. I need more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those bison dollars. Like, there was no better scene <laughs> in that whole movie than when M. Bison gave um, whatever his name was, the henchman guy, like, paid him in his own uh, money. And he was like, this will be the world's currency. And I'm like, what? Right, I like, okay, I, it, so, since we're discussing, Faust, the why are they continuing titles, let's ask this one, because you're a DC fan, as, as, I, as I am, and I know everyone here but Rob is. So. Oh, no, I'm, I'm becoming <laughs> more of a DC fan. Lobo. Why is Lobo continuing? <laughs> Lobo, is such a, Lobo is such a sad story, because they gave it to Cullen Bunn, who is a great writer his indie stuff kicks ass yep. and he is trying so hard on that book to make this new lobo a three-dimensional character worth caring about but in the comments of every lobo video i do people are like it's not old lobo don't care yep. it's not old lobo don't <laughs> care. Not yeah. so he is literally he is literally just talking to a brick wall right now with this series and like they've rewritten his whole origin to where he was the bodyguard of the emperor of zarnia and he went all like mad king Ares. Targaryen and he had to kill the love of his life and he's fighting to save Earth right now from assassins who are trying to destroy Earth. He's trying so hard and it's all just on deaf ears and it's going to be changed anytime. Oh yeah, he'll be back. The 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 main man will be back. I mean, I have two reasons for reading the Lobo title. Number one is I really kind of like the art and it's kind of a guilty pleasure title and and the art is is so nice. And number two, the new Lobo is really fucking attractive. (laughs) (laughs) He is is scrumptious. There's there's, a lot of hair that came into his mind. Scrumptious? Oh, I mean, there's no no other word I can choose to describe. Look at, like, a lot of care went into his design. Oh, oh, for sure. He is he is Edward Cullen meets like Sherlock and meets Dexter the crow. and all the other it's just so moody fun. Yeah. tough guys. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I haven't seen him. Oh man, well then you don't watch off the rack. The <laughs> <laughs> Lobo out is every sixth Power Ranger. He's like every you know like like angsty bad yes, boy. He's a, yeah, he's the Green Ranger meets Edward Cullen. Oh yes, my God, <laughs> man, the Green Ranger. There was no he's better moment in the Power Tommy. Rangers when the Green Ranger yeah, showed up and was Tommy. like, "Like you know what, guys? Like I'm the Green Ranger now, and I'm evil, and I'm just gonna like beat the hell out of all of you." And he does it. <laughs> like, he, and he I'm the White Ranger. Tragedy. He's like tuxedo mask. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice pull. Nice All right. Pull. Green Ranger is like the tuxedo <laughs> mask of Power Ranger. I know who's a green fucking Ranger. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. But, um, oh my god. Anybody else these like, are my co hosts. Yeah, these are. <laughs> <laughs> we got it going on, man. Yeah. We know what's up. Okay, so that. All right, so how about okay? Continuing titles, you know, you know, it's another one that's that's an interesting one, and, and maybe you can discuss. We can discuss this one. Why is Gotham Academy continuing? It's a great book. Uh, it's got a good fall. Yeah, it's a good book. Yeah, what? Because it's a good book. It's gorgeous. I read that well written. It's and it was kids trying to escape out of a school, and I'm like, it's what cute. am it's I? Story. You know what? It's, really it's not my cup of tea, but I respect its fan base, and I like that there's something different on the shelves, and that it's new and it's original. Yeah. And they, unlike the Batgirl book, they didn't do a bunch of retconning to make it the way right? they wanted it and to like, be. Dude, it doesn't threaten anything you love. It's not going <laughs> to make the Flash yeah, go away. That, yeah. <laughs> no, no, the Flash will make the Flash go away. <laughs> Gotham Academy is just DC's attempt to anime bullshit, and as we found out last week, I love anime bullshit. Exactly! <laughs> it has its place. If you want to look Gotham by midnight, then, the one about the cops at night that's just oh, trying to copy the show? That, Gotham Academy is like a gateway to anime for people who haven't been into anime yeah, or who manga. Just, like, who are just too afraid to not watch Batman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I mean, Dragon yeah. Ball Z got me into anime, and I haven't looked back. It gets a lot of people into anime. Yeah, I'm watching all the old episodes on TV as they are. None of this Kai stuff that the kids have nowadays oh, yeah, to no. take out all the filler, man. I was there when it happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was there like, eight, all you seven kids. episodes a week. Power off. Yes. All you kids like who are <laughs> yeah. watching Dragon Ball Z now and you have Dragon Ball Z Kai, you missed it. Back in the day when it's like, all right, like right, we're going to start. Like Trunks is going to show up. And then you start the whole series over again. And it's like, no. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Will Goku oh, defeat Frieza? Find out ridiculous. next time in Frieza Defeated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're talking about the old school when we were still getting it translated. So we like, oh, they were like, yeah. like four episodes at a time, and they'd be like, now we're gonna restart the whole series because that gives us time to translate four more. Yeah. Yeah. Let me blow your mind. I'm from Canada. We got our own Dragon Ball Z dub. Really? Ours, was, oh. ours was different than yours. Yeah. Oh, it wow. was it like, so they also was like, like yeah, show yeah, in the cartoon. I just have these images of Goku showing up and being like, so I'm going to beat your butt down, eh? Hey. <laughs> I'm really and sorry about that, Freezer. Sure. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, hey. I know the UK, Hortons, you know. I know the UK dubbed, like, one of the movies, um, but it was, like, British actors putting on American accents, but then oh, occasionally yeah. they'd say, like, mummy, instead of... <laughs> 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 like, oh, nice. so, All right, so, so back on topic here. Uh, yes. So since we're going through this one real quick... Uh, Secret Six, I don't even know, is still going already. I didn't realize that yeah, that was... Yeah. It's still... Dude, Secret Six is my jam. That is my religion. You leave my girlfriend, Gail Simone, alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Secret Six is like TV Law's kryptonite. We did a whole episode of Off the Rack on that. We got like four views. <laughs> it's, 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 and guess what? Two of those guys were me. <laughs> Two of those guys were me. How about the, uh, the Death Stroke continuation? Here's my question for you. Because Death Stroke, and I was looking, I was looking to do the Death Stroke Origins... And Deathstroke has a new origin every year. So yes, <laughs> pretend they put him in something. <laughs> hey, yeah. we're gonna retell his entire uh, origin. It, but we get to make young it up now, and he has two eyes because of TV. Right. Oh, is he? That's not good. Oh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know they it, brought. They gave him two eyes back. It, Wait, here's the thing. Had... He's he's young now. Has two eyes. It changes literally nothing because he wears a face mask that right. looks exactly the same. <laughs> Wait, who's had more origins, Deathstroke or Dula Dent? Ooh, that's close. I'm gonna go with Deathstroke because I think he's he's more popular than Duelist, so he keeps popping yeah, up. Duelist gets like two or three, but I say the problem with Deathstroke is that every time he arrives, the new writer's like, I can tell a better Deathstroke origin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the book looks beautiful. Again, it's 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 uh, who is it on art and writing? He's because he's is, is it Daniels? I think it's Tony Daniels. Oh, it's Tony Daniels, and it's gorgeous. For, oh, it looks the story is crap, but it looks beautiful, and he's tr <laughs> and he's trying so hard too to be like, look, I'm gonna bring in his son Jericho. Yeah, I know Jericho has none of the connection to the stuff that made him cool, but he's coming in, and I'm bringing in Ravager. Yeah, I know she has no connection to any of the stuff that made her cool, but I'm bringing her in. And guess what? The villain is his dad, Odysseus. And guess what? And, and guess what? Deathstroke inherited his badass assassin skills because his dad was a badass assassin. <laughs> It's really dumb. It's a yeah. really dumb book. But it looks <laughs> awesome. It looks gorgeous. It looks great. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks so good. So uh, one thing I know you didn't put here, Rob, is the new stories. that Because like, we have the list of the Marvel ones that are coming out afterwards and during mm -hmm. Secret Wars. But you didn't put out the new ones for like, yeah, the we one where... We, like, we don't have that list of what they're going to be doing after do? Secret Wars. Do we? No. Yeah, they've come out with this. They solicited it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We'll get to I, that I, later. Well, then then I guess. Was, what was the list? Like, I didn't realize they had a list. I, of and we also have the list titles. of books that are happening during Convergence. Like, Catwoman's going to fight off against Kingdom Come Batman. Oh, um, good. All the Flashes are going to meet up on one big, like, something. Speed Force. Yeah. Speed Force Bat. <laughs> okay. This yeah, the so new that, Teen Titans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the list that I sent oh, you I'm guys excited for were, those two. Uh, the list that I sent you guys were the titles that they were, they were going to be continuing or relaunching after Convergence and the ones they were killing off. But that, that was the most updated information I had. I actually didn't realize. I mean, I had. I guess it makes sense. They still said it like this week, the actual list of the oh, posts. Okay. Yeah. It, it was like well, 50 I'll, I'll get new, to that later. It was like 50 new books, but again, it's like even the books that they're canceling. Like you're not really canceling these. You're just retitling them and having them come back out. All right. Which is what I was going to mention next, Joe. We have a list here of all the books that are being canceled for post. Because we already know that, that Marvel is pretty much canceling everything. So that, yeah, that's a pretty yeah. – that's yeah. so they can that's make everything number one again. Yeah, yeah everything's going to be number one, so everything's either getting a reboot or a total cancellation. DC is currently got continuing or rebooted. Continuing and re officially titled as a reboot are Action Comics, Aquaman, Batgirl, Batman, Detective Comics, Batman, Superman, Catwoman, Deathstroke, The Flash, Gotham Academy, Gotham by Midnight, Grayson, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, Justice League, Lobo, Secret Six, Sinestro, New Suicide Squad, Superman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Teen Titans. I'm sorry, that should be the new Teen Titans. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman, uh, Justice League United. Why is that one going? <laughs> oh, I was so disappointed by the last issue of that. I'm just like, you know what? Th this can go away now. I, I love had a ship on Justice League United when it became Justice League United instead of Justice League of America. Justice League of America went like seven issues, and they were like, oh, wow, we're like alienating the entire rest of the world. Cancel reboot. Yeah. <laughs> then, it got, then it got lost in tie-ins, even though Jeff Johns did really good on it. And yeah. now we're getting a new Justice League of America, which is just the main regular Justice League. So we're going to have two now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cancel titles are Arkham Manor, which makes sense because that is a story arc that is going to end. I love yeah, it. But uh, that's yeah, I was gonna say, is it, it canceled or is it just ending? It, it just ended. It was a five-issue miniseries. There's like yeah. Some of this information is like these books didn't end. They just reached the end of their run. They were right. canceled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Batman Robin is becoming Damien. What would you say? Was Damien son of Batman? Son of Batman. Yeah, 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 Damien son of Batman. Yeah. Which is fine because Damien has superpowers right now, and they don't look like they're going anywhere. So we're gonna see where that pans out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Batwoman's gone, but she's I don't know. Batwoman's gone through hell for four it's years. Sad. So <laughs> she Poor gave Batman. a valiant fight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's going away, and I can tell you exactly why Constantine's going away. They don't need it anymore. The show it's got coming canceled. back as Constantine Hellblazer, though. <laughs> But it's coming back as Constantine Hellblazer. Well, no, yes. what we're saying, though, is it's coming back as Constantine, and I think it's going back to Vertigo also. Yeah. Like oh. Yeah. Yeah, so they're basically going, look, all right, this this whole family-friendly Constantine didn't work. No, no but he's leaving his trench coat in the DC universe. Yeah, what's up with that? Look, and he got a new costume, no more trench coat. Like, he's not wearing a costume. He's wearing the clothes he slept in for the last six years. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a costume. He just got hot and took his coat off. Well, maybe yeah. Aaron it's... Larson got upset that he had too many layers on. So, <laughs> <probably>. <laughs> uh, I like, that didn't take off the coat and reveal spandex. Yes. <laughs> By the way, C this entire time, coming out of <laughs> By the entire time, he's got a, like a spandex costume with a big C. Yep. Constantine. <laughs> well, that's how they're going to actually rebrand the comic so the TV show can get renewed. See, it's all smart <laughs> oh, marketing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because so, that's definitely going to boost sales. Shows are saved by comic book sales. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Earth 2 is being canceled, and anybody who's been reading Earth 2 knows that that book, that book was done at issue 31. It's still oh, going. I've, I've been enjoying it, but it's coming back as Earth 2 Society, so they're just going to be the Society of Superheroes now. What? And I, I love it. they going to just push it into run? the regular universe and move on? To fill well, the I, roles I, of everyone who wasn't already there. Yeah, no, I, I love, I do love her too, and I do love what they're doing with World's End and everything. But like, look, I, anybody else who's been reading can, can go ahead and vouch for this. They've been dragging on the destruction of Earth Two now for like yeah. the last months. Like yeah. the planet's on fire, Dark Side's shot. Like, we're done. Blow we're up. Done. <laughs> exactly. Faust the fact that it's already it. spoiled because yeah. we know in futures and who made it and who didn't make it to main Earth. Right. Yeah. But you know what? People hate Future's End, so maybe they'll change it. <laughs> it's true. I know. I hate it. I'm amazed I'm still reviewing it every week. I, am <laughs> I stopped buying it at 35. But yeah. Fast, you have it right. If there are two, it's just blow up. So, yeah, that's it. Blowing up finally. Ended. Yeah. Um, Green Lantern Core is just becoming Green Lantern Lost Lanterns. That's all awesome. awesome for me, yeah. Okay. Uh, Justice League Dark, you guys said, is getting a reboot as Dark Society. Dark Universe. Yep. Dark Dark Universe, Dark which Universe. is a weird title because it's related to that <coughs> Del Toro movie that may never get made, mm -hmm. but they're going to call the comic Dark Universe now? What? That Maybe it's just because it prods Del Toro a little bit, like, hey, <laughs> hey, remember that thing? We're, we're still supporting you. 
every this movie, is, this one's like, my Del, favorite. Del Toro movie makes like every third movie. Like he doesn't. <laughs> like every time Del Toro's was like, "I'm gonna make a movie," like you're like, "Okay, well, we'll see." <laughs> the reason I hope this Del Toro movie gets made is because I'm a big thing. I, I like costuming is a big thing for me. I, like, I'm a cosplayer. I love costumes. I love fashion. Del Toro gets cosplayers in to oh. help on the movie's costumes. Yeah, yeah, that's really smart. Does he really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's been meaning to do the uh, that that uh, Lovecraft movie into the Mouth of Madness or whatever. Mouth of Ma Mountains of Madness. He's been trying to make. Forever and no yeah. one will let him. It's never gonna happen, Del Toro. Just stop. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, <laughs> so the next one on the list here, is, this is I think the funniest rebranding. Justice yeah, League is. 3000 is becoming Justice League 3001. I'm amazed it's not being called Justice League. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that anymore. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like not even trying. Like, it like, is fun, by the way. It's a fun, so, it's a fun series. I love G D. Mateus, but yeah, 3001. He was like, I remember you made that announcement. He was like, yeah, it's going to be canceled. But I will be, but you should pick up my new series, Justice League 3001. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Like, after, like, we're going to do another 12 issue arc and then it'd be 3002. 3002. That would, that would not, if it lasted that long, I bet they would do it. <laughs> I think one time, yeah. Accidentally wrote three thousand one instead of three thousand and just went genius. Yeah. <laughs> now they're gonna have to take it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. And Faust knows more about this one. Clarion's getting canceled. It's terrible. <laughs> Can I? That, like Clarion. It's terrible. When that book came out, I'm like, this is gonna make it six issues, and it made it exactly six issues. Nice. <laughs> when it came out, I was like, okay, the art's good. Maybe that will push it through. And then I started reading it, and I was like. Oh my god, this is so bad. And it just kept reading. And issue two came out. I was like, it got worse. How did it get worse? It's not even the real Clarion. It's a Clarion from another dimension who is not the Clarion we saw in the future's end time because that and was a Clarion from Earth 2. And it turns out the Clarion from Witch World and the Clarion from Limbo Town are two different Clarions as well. So there's lots of Clarions running about. <laughs> but they're all witch boys. That <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Now, you guys know I'm not a big, big two reader. So when you posted the list of things that were getting canceled, there were certain titles that jumped out at me. I was like, I don't know what that is, so that's not a surprise. Clarion was one of them. The next <laughs> one on the list was one of them. Oh, the Infinity the Man list. and the Forever People? Yep, I was oh, like, dude. what the hell is this? I remember <laughs> them announcing that one, and they were like, we're doing Infinity Man and the Forever People. And I'm like, that, like, like you said, that will make it six issues. That won't make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, God just, bless them. There's just they three tried. things here based on title. I was like, that doesn't surprise me even in the slightest, and I don't know a damn thing about it. <laughs> See, I was sad that Infinite, Infinite Man and the Forever People didn't do better, because it was like, and they might start bringing back fourth world titles, and then they might yeah. do that fifth world thing they tried attempting. They could do a whole series on the super young team. No we one remembers dream. them other than me. <laughs> we can dream, man. We can dream. Um, Red Hood of the Outlaws is getting no! canceled. Good. But, yeah, uh, no, uh, not Red Hood, anything is, but Red Hood. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, not that great character. This is that one is comic it? that I personally will read when I'm angry so I can record a review and just rip it apart. I <laughs> it those days. But it's getting but relaunched as back? Red Hood and Arsenal, yeah. It's uh, just yeah, the boys yeah. now, it's just yeah. Red Hood and Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And Starfire's getting her own title. Yeah, yeah so Starfire's getting her own book. Um, Red Lanterns is canceling. Uh, I've been reading this since the beginning, and I can tell you right now that story's been done for the last ten issues. Like <laughs> <laughs> we need, like ever since, like the the last great arc for that one was Guy Gardner, and then they ended it like, and they ended it on like a really solid note. Like he beat Atrocitus, it was over. He held on to the ring. He went back to Earth, and then it's like, and now we have more, and now we have more, and now it's like, just just stop, just stop yeah. the comic. They're amazed they made it that many issues too. <laughs> Like, the last issue right now was him dealing with a baby who is the embodiment of rage, and now apparently he's going on a cross-country exploration adventure with the baby on his back. Oh my god, well, that sounds if, like the most amazing story ever. I was like, gonna I really say, agree like, that. DC knows that if you take your character that usually can fly and have him just walk across the country, you're pretty much guaranteed safe. <laughs> it goes so well every time. It always I'm not works. Even Look up the latest issue. The latest issue, there was a baby who was the embodiment of rage after, like, everything happened on by Faust, and Faust died. <laughs> that rage baby. <laughs> It's a, it's a rage baby, basically, and like it ends with like, oh, this baby has no family because he killed his own family, but he's just a baby and he doesn't understand his powers. So like he straps him to his back and you just see him walk in the highway like the, the, the incredible, incredible Hulk. Hulk. Like lone wolf and cub, guy yeah, guard. Like, oh, I'm walking with the baby. I'm like, what is going on with this? 
So that's not a surprise. Um, Secret Origins, I think, honestly, in my opinion, is ending because they've run out of Origins. Yeah, they've, they've done everyone this, even vaguely interesting. This worries me because how are they going to retcon Tim Drake every five months? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think the bigger question here is why would anybody want them to retcon Tim, Tim Drake every five months? Well, no, none of us want that. Nobody wants just that. Keep doing it. <laughs> well, I want them to do it until he has the title of like at least had the title of just Robin, even if it was just for a week, <laughs> yeah. just, just for an hour. That's well, what I just, want. Eventually, they'll just they'll it'll just go full circle. Like they'll just be like, "Hey, wouldn't it be cool if he was like Batman's partner? If he was Robin. <laughs> we sh we haven't done that yet, huh?" <laughs> you know, you know what the worst part about Secret Origins is the latest issue. They're not even doing the origins of people we care about anymore. <laughs> they they did the origin of the of the girl inside of the computer version of Batgirl. Yes, I know, right. <laughs> And that's actually an important issue because it's like, hey, guys, you should really go read this because we're retcon and big stuff. So yeah. Really yeah, yeah, but, but like, like it's like, oh, we're going to do a, a, an origin you may care about, an origin you might care about. Oh, and, and an origin you didn't even know existed. Here's the origin of Oracle in the new 52, but we're not calling her Oracle. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> um. Um, Star Spangled War Stories is ending. Is that about was... zombie? Oh, yes, it's about GI Zombie. I championed the shit out of this book. Paul Biotti is my man. He has been trying so hard to bring back war comics since the beginning of New 52. And across the board, everyone's like, nope, not happening. <laughs> that book was actually a really – it didn't feel like a DC book. It felt like an image book. Like this is an image pitch Paul Biotti had laying around. And Dan DiDio's like, yoink. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised. Um, I, I'm a little shocked on this one. Supergirl's canceling. Um, I've actually I, been enjoying it up until the end of the Red Lantern arc, and then they were like, now we're bringing her to Hogwarts. I'm not even joking. <laughs> she's in a school in space where they teach you how to use their powers, and I saw the interview DC Entertainment did with the writer, and she's like, I wanted to bring Hogwarts to Supergirl's universe. I read universe. that. That's yeah. <laughs> If they wanted to do that, they should just have her join Gotham Academy. <laughs> <laughs> just, have her join, just have her make a new Young Justice team. Yeah, hey, I like that. Is, isn't she coming back in something else? Like, well, or is she when the done? show comes out, That's they'll have probably. a new. There you yeah. go. They'll probably oh, yeah. Supergirl or something. So, so they're probably just separating Supergirl from her current Hogwarts Academy armor. Yes, situation. that yep. did not that did not catch. So they were like, yeah. all right. I give it a year. There'll be another Supergirl title. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we're just I was saying at the end of this year, I think is the Supergirl show. Yeah. So that'll be something. No, yeah. you, you, yeah. With that god awful costume. Right out of the, out of the uh, Swamp Thing is ending, and like three people in the world cried. Yeah. <laughs> our, our buddy Joe cried, man. And again, the early arcs of that are great when it was. Uh, Up until Rot World. Up until. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I'm still going to collect it in trade. I mean. What's I'm sad about this is they when the new 52 started like yeah the red and the green these are going to be big integral concepts to this new universe and then they're like oh well cancel animal man now I guess the swamp thing's gone too ah eh, forget the red and the green whatever <laughs> <laughs> the red and the green even like bled over into the Teen Titans they had Beast Boy red in the Teen Titans so he was connected to the red and now he's green now he's uh, just green with no it's explanation man at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's Earth so two. frustrating. Earth 2 oh, has done more with the red yeah. and the green ideology than the main universe ever did. <laughs> yeah, but Earth 2's running run with that was amazing. Like, that's one of the, like, and it's funny because no one will ever know it because it's, it's like tied into the world's end side of the story. Which, who cares? <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you I, read it like, you're, three pages of the avatars! <laughs> yeah, you might have to care for Convergence. I keep waiting to write my quick guide to Convergence. I'm like, neither of these stories are done yet, and I don't even know what to write yet. <laughs> Like, uh, when they said they wanted the red and the green to be really integral to the universe, I said, they're going to do a red and green title, and each issue we're going to focus on another character that utilizes the red or the green. It never happened. Yep. <laughs> well, the next thing on the list here is the Trinity of Sin, which I think is the most under underutilized thing. Okay, so just so you know what the Trinity of Sin is. The DC Universe started, Pandora opened up, and she was like, it's a great mystical thing coming out, blah, blah, blah. They started really touching on the supernatural. Yep. We had people touching in. Everything was going crazy. Pandora was popping up saying it's Pandora's box. Supernatural, supernatural, mystic, mystic, supernatural, mystic, mystic. And then it's like, nope, it's a gateway to forever evil. It was, it was a boom tube. It was, this, whole this whole for or the Trinity event was just a lead into forever evil. Right. And then, it, was just a, it was a boom tube for the crime syndicate. And, and, and then we'll build up the question. It's like, oh, who is this new mysterious question? He's not Vic Sage. Yeah, we don't even know who he is. Yeah, then who cares? Well, so what, what ended up happening with that, and this is where the Trinity sin came from, I, what I think happened was they were going mystical and they abandoned ship last second. Oh, yeah. 
The Trinity of Sin is the continuation of what the hell actually happened with Pandora's box. And I started reading it at the beginning, and it started okay, and then it just was like, where the hell is this going? It's the Pandora in question and Phantom Stranger fighting against the odds and whatever. Well, they did the same thing when they switched when they switched over the tone for Wonder Woman. When like the like Azarello's Wonder Woman was all like mystical. Well, not mystical, but like you know, it was it was steeped in mythology. And then they turned it around, and now it's the Finches, and it's like, oh my. Like, <laughs> remember Phantom Stranger when that book starts, like written by Dan DiDio. I just imagine that was sitting on the desk. And it's like, what? Does no one want this book? Fine, then I'll write Phantom Stranger then. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was Judas the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I am a genius. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's ending. World's Finest, that technically ended like 10 issues ago, but the, somehow yeah. it's still going. <laughs> it got lost in the Earth 2 shuffle, which is going to make it really hard for people who want to get the whole Earth two story because you're gonna have to read earth two world's end this for the backstory and you're also going to need to read a couple issues of batman superman which are also origin stories for the <laughs> earth two versions of those characters um and then uh, and the only one of us here who's going to cry about this aquaman and the others oh. <laughs> you know, actually called aquaman and the others yeah, like, yeah. yeah. The literally rest his of the gilligan's name. island cast like oh. and the rest yeah it's aquaman and the rest <laughs> That was their name. And here's the thing. I, I'm going to have a reason for that to cry, too. The, like, the last issue of this came out just recently. And Armin and I were set to review it. Because we'd actually really been enjoyed. They had done some good arcs before with the Atlantean artifacts. They fought, like, this uh, KG beast. They brought him back, and he had a whole team. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I know. I'm excited for KG beast. I am to be killing you now. <laughs> that is fantastic. This was back when Putin was acting a fool, and we thought that the Russians could be evil, scary bad right? guys again for, like, a minute. Back here's when, the thing. Or, yeah. yeah that, that final issue of that was just like, oh, wow, you, you knew you were getting canceled, didn't you? You just yeah. like, yeah. And then it's over. Right. M my uh, whole thing with Aquaman and the others is that it's just not campy enough to be what? an Aquaman book. Mm. The art yeah, was not no. great either for mine. No. no. They were so cool. I, 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 I liked the operative. Thing. I liked Prisoner of War. I liked all the people on his team. Mm. I, we have one question. And it falls in what you had said, Joel, and I wanted to follow up before we move into the Marvel side of the house. Um, someone asked, where's Dr. Fate? Well, if you read, like, the, as Joel said, the 50 gajillion things for Earth 2, he is there, and he's doing stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the new Dr. Fate they're getting, who's going to have a solo series, is not Earth 2 Dr. Fate. It's not Khalid. It's going to be someone different, but it's also not Kent Nelson. <laughs> so it's going to be someone else. Yeah. It'll be Renee Montoya. Uh, we All right, about, she's coming so, well, back in Detective Comics. So good, maybe. she's great. She is. Okay, so oh, we're we're running low on time, guys. We got to move up. We have another thirty something books to go through. So <laughs> you're the one who's reading these, this list. All right, so now now we're gonna get to the weird. We're gonna get to what's happening over at Marvel Secret Wars during the Secret Wars. So we've got two Incredible Hulks. We've got Greenland. Now I'm gonna name off their locations, what they're named on Battle World, and what's happening there. And I just want everyone to give me the, their responses to these, just like just, we just did. Yeah, we don't just, have to give give the thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, yay or nay. We we'll just Caesar like, it up. Everybody. You, do you realize that if we spent all that time on DC and then we just a thumbs up, thumbs down, Marvel, <laughs> the Marvel fan base will kill us. The Marvel fan base will understand. They're doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. Greenland, which is going to feature the Planet Hulk results. You know what? I do like the idea of <laughs> Captain America riding a dinosaur in there. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a Hulk right. junkie. Sign me up. Yeah, All same right. here. Dystopia is where Future Imperfect is. They've been building up to this story. Peter David has been trying really hard to tell a new story with the maestro and everything else. I hope it connects with everything, but it probably won't. No. But hey, I, yeah. I wonder how... Uh, Peter David felt about Bendis using the maestro. Yeah. I bet he didn't read it. Mm. But if he did, I'd bet he'd be really mad. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, the domain of Apocalypse will house the My Little Ponies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, yeah. Domain of Apocalypse is where the Age of Apocalypse is. Go figure, huh? Yeah, no. Let it die. <laughs> I'm so burnt yeah, out on let it. Let them die. Hey, okay, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, Rob? me too. <laughs> Rob, I, I, what's the status on Age of Apocalypse, Rob? I've been talking to the chat about pudding, man. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. He's writing it right now. Hang on. Yeah. We've just, we just been talking about pudding like all this time. Like, uh, when are you, you going to be Age of Apocalypse? Stupidest, here's the Age of Apocalypse one. is not going to get finished. Okay, you know what? Age of Apocalypse <laughs> hasn't been relevant since like the six months after it ended. Yeah, but now <laughs> it's, no, it's, no, it's coming back. 
coming yeah, back. Yeah, it is there? coming back. Yes, I Blink, should. One handed Logan. It. Yeah. All right, so on here, cut okay, okay, but see, see, here was here was the funny thing. Like, like Blink was a character who didn't matter. Like, she showed up and was almost immediately killed when she first appeared. Yeah. And then they were like, you know what? Like, let's bring her back for the Age of Apocalypse. And she's like, she's she's like this strong, independent chick that don't need no man. And like fans were like, she's amazing, <laughs> and they brought yeah, her back. We do our sliders. Though. <laughs> the she's thing is, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, that's not even the 616 Blink, and then I made a history of Blink that was about the 616 Blink, and now I get like a, at least one comment every other day that says, what about Age of Apocalypse? What about Age of Apocalypse? <laughs> that's exactly what yeah, when are you going to do the Age of Apocalypse Blink? But, but yeah, hey, I'll do the Age of Apocalypse. got 10 seconds in that new X-Men movie. She got 10 whole seconds <laughs> to jump around. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> and but her see, makeup was But see, here's the thing. <laughs> The other thing you guys have to remember too is like a lot of these stories that we're getting are going to be rewrites of existing stories. Yeah, they're not so, actually going to be the yeah. thing. So like the Age of Wait, Apocalypse. Wait, there's total rewrites. Well, they're supposed to be. At least as far as I understand. I mean, well, because it I mean, was a new story. Well, no, no, no. It, it is a new story. Well, yeah. like, well we don't know. As, as far as as far as I understand it, see, this is this is why it's such a pain. From what I understood from what Brevoort was saying during their meeting, during their conference, which was a ridiculously that conference it was, was <laughs> me and Sal. It's all right, check this. Check it out. Like, why didn't you just like well, like they were they were like we got this dry erase marker board up here. We're at the Midtown Comics. It's like there's like customers walking back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 like what are you doing? You have you have like you made the top three highest grossing movies of the year, and you can't like spring for a conference room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we and Sal were saying. We were like, did, did they even like try? Was no. there even any like concern, or were they just like, you know, let's just like make an announcement, throw it out there, and the hell with it? And they like this, three like freelance staffers for CBR who were like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> go, go to the Elks Club is what you should do. Yeah, go to the Elks Club. Oh god, man! But no, it's, had cool trophies, as know. far as I understood it from the meeting that that Brevoort had from that whole uh, video thing is the stories that they're giving us during Secret Wars, so like the Infinity Gauntlet, which is New Xandar, stuff like that, it's just going to be like a retelling of those stories. Like, it's going to be totally different. So I it's... See now, because I thought it was going to be a continuation of those stories. Well, some of them like, are. Like, like those, like the story happened, controls. and then like, what if... They didn't have to worry about continuity, and they just kept going. That's that's See, what they're going to be doing with some of the like. That's that's why some See, of those universes are going to be. I was under the impression it's a retelling of stories that happened. So like Age yeah. of Ultron would be retold. I, I, I guess like, we'll find that out. Just well, happened. <laughs> I mean, See, that, I that, was, that was the question. Like, it's supposed to be a mission. didn't like how it ended. Like, <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was going to be, what if we threw this aspect of this story uh, into the mix of this story? Yeah. Well, see, like here's, right, here's the other thing, like you guys have to remember, out. like DC sure. or um, Marvel came out and they they told us how time works. Like they said, like it's, it's branch universe theory. Anytime an alternate reality comes into existence by the actions of a person, it's a totally separate universe. Now they established that with Days of Future Past. So, right. what they're doing, I think, is they're they're doing a mishmash of things. Age of Apocalypse, I think, is either going to be a retelling or continuing of that universe because remember that universe never ended. Like it's still going. Um, the Days of Future Past, I think, is going to be a rewrite, but that universe is still going, which is kind of weird. Um, yeah. The Age of Ultron universe never ended. Wolverine just went back in time and stopped himself killing Hank Pym, mm -hmm. which, whatever. Whatever. Bendis, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> and then, like... <laughs> <laughs> he stabbed and, himself, man. Yeah, Coolest it's, thing ever. I don't, man, Bendis. I don't know. I don't know what Bendis was thinking when he did that. It was Bendis well, being Bendis, I guess. But um, Bendis is gonna bend. So, um, but like Old Man Logan, like that universe is still going. You, so you're going ahead of the list, man. Well, we yeah, got a no, list. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, right, so let's discuss the list. If we don't what's go next? by the list. Next, so, let's discuss Egypt. Egyptia. Egypt. Shut up. New Egypt. Yeah, yeah. The new yeah, warriors. Who wanted to see the warriors go on? Everyone's uh, favorite. The new Nobody. warriors. Who doesn't love the new warriors? What? Which which one is it going to be? Is it going to be the one with Speedball and Night Thrasher and Dark yeah, One? Or is it going to be another new warrior like Speedball and Namorita and? Let me let me tell you something. Like, Spider. All right, so I think we've established that. How about Technopolis? Technopolis. Yeah, Technopolis. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that works too. I, I give that a thumbs up because I'm actually way back into Iron Man now, like I never have been before. I'm digging the Superior run, and my big question is just like, how come his brother Arno isn't stopping him? And then for this new Armor Wars, it's going to be like, oh, it's him and his brother fighting each other. I'm like, good. Cool. Well, okay, that's, that answers my question. Yeah, that's uh, was... number six is currently classified. So let's throw a thousand and one wild speculations. My thought is that this is where the TNT Ninja Turtles are going to fight with the Ghostbusters, and they're nice. all going to come together to fight against Friendship Is Magic. So no, I think there's going to be uh, renew your vows. 
No, Renew Your Vows is already established. It's not on this list. It's, it's going to be all the <coughs> The Runaways, the runaways yes. title isn't on this list either. Oh, yeah. Because uh, they Aladdin. keep adding new titles is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like, like Marvel, like Marvel.com slash Secret Wars, whatever it is, has like has their list as of right now. But Renew Your Vows yeah. is already established as its own universe. Um, yeah. I think that one's going to be Marvel Zombies because Age of Ultron is its own universe. You have the Marvel Zombies versus Age of Ultron universe. Yeah. And so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be All right, no, number seven is Spider Island. The Amazing Spider-Man Spider Island. <laughs> don't what, care. <laughs> I, am I the only one who likes Spider Island? I love like, I love that story. And then it ended. <laughs> My only question um, is, will it have Madame Web in it? If it does, I'll care. Which one? <laughs> any. Any of them. <laughs> he just wants right, the Madame they just Web brought character. Back the young Madame Web again. Yeah. At the end of Spider-Verse, she wakes up out of the coma. That's right. She came back <laughs> just recently. Back. I didn't read Spider Verse, and now I've got to read it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Miss it, 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 it all you got to read is the last, last like epilogue book, and you're fine. Yeah, like the last couple of pages. Apparently, it was all supposed to star Superior Spider Man, and he had and Dan Slott had to rewrite the whole damn thing, right? Yeah, yeah I, Dan Slott came out with an interview. Side note here about about Spider Verse. That was supposed to where uh, just be the arc between 17 to 24, yep. and that was it. It just a Superior Spider Man story. And I guess the editor decided, no, you can't do that. You can't do something like this and not have it be about Peter Parker. Yep. And so we're gonna. We're, so he had to shoehorn in the the story arc where it's 2099 showing up in our time period, and he had to shoehorn in the story of Superior Venom. Yep. And that's that's how that all came out of it. Spider Verse wasn't even intended like a year ago. No. Anyway, what's so. up next? Uh, Regency and the Clone Saga. So that, that's the wedding. That's 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 the renew your vows. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we have King James England, Maltian 16, Marvel 16, Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yay. Sold. We got a lot of oh, yeah. 2 fans in the house. <laughs> and they do, uh, Neil Gaiman owes them a couple of books, so maybe they'll come back. Yeah. Well, they'll make two sales at least from this conversation. <laughs> yeah, they will. <laughs> Which I don't understand, I don't get why they're writing this story, like, didn't like the 1602 universe like blow up? No. Or something like that? No. I never read 1602. 1602 is, it's great. I mean, Oh. We know for sure if they do get Neil Gaiman in to do this, we'll get it sometime next year. <laughs> cool. I'll wait. Ah. It's worth it. I can wait. <laughs> It'll make no he, sense his anymore. Eternals run was kind of weak. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next book on the list is Weird World, which is Weird World. Does anyone know what that is? No. It's weird. Chat? What it's is weird. weird world? <laughs> well, don't I, you have like the battle map open? Shit, no. no. Do what? Don't you have the battle map open? No, I'm the battle map open. Yeah. You know, you know what this is. Weird World is put on this list solely to stump people like us. Where it's like, ah, you YouTube people think you're so smart. Yeah, with your and channels. <laughs> we'll show you. Talk about that stuff. <laughs> um, okay, Kun Lao is Kun, Kun Lun. Kun Lun is getting. Wait, Kun Lun gets his own location. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's and, a mystical okay. realm. And it's weird the way they're doing it. Like, okay, imagine the House of M with karate. Like, yeah, that's it's what it's going to be, basically. <laughs> all the martial arts characters are going to be there. And they're going to be like, anybody who doesn't study karate is like a lesser yeah, cast yeah, yeah. in society. Yeah. Hey, Sean, sense. got a book for you to review. <laughs> 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 all yours, buddy. It's all yours. Um, you do, uh, you, uh, you know, oh, no. Pulitz. <laughs> you know Pulitz. You, what the? Sorry. What the Real world stories, uh, which were sort of like Marvel's versions of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? Oh, wait till you get to Speed. kill Raven, man. Good thing there Still Craven that was absolute garbage. <laughs> well, that's come up too. That's in here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Utopolis, Squadron of Sinister. Squ yeah, based oh, on God, the Squadron, Squadron Sinister. Yeah, the so Squadron okay. Sinister was a stupid freaking book. That was that was Hyperion first appearing in Marvel Comics, yep, I think. Yep. And Grandmaster was like, I'm going to form this team. And like he sends them to fight the Avengers, I think. And it's stupid. Like, <laughs> I swear some of these titles, it feels like they just blindfold us. It's like, okay, we're going to make exactly a Secret it, Wars man. tie in about like, oh, like, uh, Squadron Supreme. Okay. It's right. Like, it's like Marvel Comics. Like you have an infinite number of universes that you could just make. You could just say, well, this universe has always been there. It's just we're just now seeing it. Like you, yeah. could, you have all these options and we get like the Squadron Sinister. <laughs> like really old school with a bunch of these well, too. Uh, like, may maybe they were doing it as on purpose. They're like if this sells like gangbusters, we're gonna do something with that. Squad no, no one's gonna. No one cares about Squadron Sinister. <laughs> the only surprised. person, the only person on that team anybody cares about is Hyperion. It's only because yeah, he's part of the yeah. new Avengers now. We're part of the Avengers. Okay, now. all right, we, we gotta keep moving. We gotta, we're running really low on time here. All right, so we got new Mars with Kill Raven. Go? No? Yes. No. Kill, Kill Raven, Raven sucks. No? Okay. No. All right. 
Hi, hire Avalon with the Captain Britain Corps. Okay. Yes, I'm down with that. I'm I'm cool with that. Okay, the Arachnia, the Spider Verse event continuing. Don't care. Our, our I mean, like and I reviewed it, so we're going to review that too. Spider Man does yep. great for us, and they definitely tease at the end of Spider Verse, like, "Hey, want to come back and see what happens next?" No. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, I don't want to see what happens. Marvel, next. Avengers versus X Men, namely the Avengers babies and X Babies one yeah. shot. Yes. 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 Okay, okay, that, that sounds fun. That actually sounds pretty fun. I mean, that's obviously uh, the... going to be like their their child lineup. You know, they're going to be targeting towards kids. But that's a great idea. If you oh, yeah, they yeah. 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 Made, it, made it super sick. I have Agamotto. Yeah. yeah, catch the Doctor Strange uh, fever now while well, you can. He's getting the movie. Yeah, so I, don't I don't understand. Agamotto. I don't understand what the purpose of I have Agamotto is supposed to be. I guess like it'll just it be a realm of magic. I mean, is this going to be like the Maybe, center's market yeah. and like every, and just like Doctor Strange? Is that going to be it? I don't uh -huh. get it. Well, what's wrong with that? I didn't say anything was wrong with that. I just don't understand <laughs> oh, I what they're going to do with that universe. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've also got uh, currently classified. Okay, we got a bunch of Manhattans. So we got 616 Universe, Rain. Ultimate mm -hmm. Universe, Marvel Metropolis with Mrs. Deadpool and the Halle no, Commandos. Monster Metropolis. That's Metropolis. the one with Frankencastle and Man Thing. Oh, Metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read in a hurry. My brain's not working right. I'm so burned out from today. Oh, man. Uh, we also have Atillion. The Inhumans apparently are just going to be... Like, this whole battle world's going to be... Yeah. Floating overhead. Like, hey, guys, what's going on? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're on their little island. They can go to the moon. <laughs> and nobody cares about them. Um, the just, city with the Avengers from the Corvax. The really good under Charles' soul. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't read it. I don't care about the Inhuman. I don't care. My God, we have so many more to go. Okay, Shut up, you better care because they're on <laughs> Shield and they're going to be in movies. You I know. Care. I'm watching uh, Shield. City, it's like on in a minute. Yeah, but like we in, have Inhuman. Civil War. Inhuman's trash. Do what now? <laughs> we have Civil War continuing. Hmm? We have what? We have New Quack City with Howard Duck. We have the Far East where the monsters dwell. Yeah. <laughs> There's more monsters. Oh. Those, no, fin those are, they're Boom. dinosaurs and and. No, that's the Valley of Flame with Devil Dinosaur. No, I'm, I'm telling you, it says Phantom Eagle's back in his own rip roaring adventure. World War One aviation ace Carl Kaufman collides with prehistoric beasts in where monsters dwell. Fighters, fighter planes, dinosaurs, and history lessons you won't soon forget. Yeah, and you, know who, you know who cares? Like, you oh, know all the people who care? You know who cares? Like, Not like, nobody. Nobody cares. It's like a very big zero amount of people that care. Yeah. <laughs> but Ennis, Ennis is writing it, though. Who? Who? Okay. No, what? What? I think I think he's the lag. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hydra and uh, there's a Hydra world and there's a Marvel 2099 world. Yay! There's Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps. What? Oh. <laughs> yes, uh. Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps. Interesting. I didn't know there were okay. more than one Carols. I thought it was just her. No, the Carol Corps. Uh, way, way, well, way back. There's multiple Thor's and multiple Hulks. Yeah. The Carol Corps way, way back were what fans of Carol Danvers used oh, to call themselves. Um, but I think this is going to be like a World War II Carol Corps, where there's lots of Carols. Gotcha. Or it's like a team of girls that are inspired by Carol or something. Okay. All right. I mean, it, it sounds like it sounds like Marvel's answer to We Are Robin from Converge. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. So, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, Monarchy, yeah. Monarchy, Monarchy of M. Why can't I talk from the House of M universe? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it'll be like if the House of M universe never existed, never ended, which I don't understand how you could do that because it did end. That no, was... but like, but it didn't, Rob. You see, <laughs> what? It, what <laughs> if she, how easy that was? <laughs> what if she didn't go you see how easy that was? <laughs> while doing House of M? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, see, that sounds like a what if story. Like, what if the they Star are all Witch what if didn't... stories? I know That's they're all idea. what if stories. Every universe but I'm saying, was, like, one was, was like, a what if title. I get that. I'm saying like it's like Sentinel a like, territories. What if it didn't X Men. Mean? Oh, did I interrupt Rob? I don't think I've done it enough. Yeah, you time. interrupted me. <laughs> you and your hair interrupted me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when I get done with this, it's going to be better than Faust. All right, <laughs> you can try. I was <laughs> you can try, and right. you'll fail. <laughs> we got Sentinel territories. Days of Future Past. We have the Wastelands with Wolverine, Old Man Logan, Mutopia, Grant Morrison's hey, new hey, X Men. Mutopia. Yes, I did. I'm so I'm excited about Wastelands. that one. Westchester, the X Men ninety two. Yes. Yes. yes, I'm really oh, excited about that one. Why don't they just yeah, yeah. Just making it about the cartoon? The cartoon. Just take Jim Lee's X Men and then just make them the X Men. No, again. because it needs to be about the cartoon. Jim Lee had his run during the X Men. No, no, no but he like, who cares about that? That cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that cartoon is. By the way, oh my god, really quick, on the Reddit's, it was. Oh, sorry, Joel, go ahead. Don't think that's how it's worded, but okay. On the Reddit's. <laughs> I was just gonna say, it's like, I, I hope this X Men thing is so popular that, that DC's like, hey, we should do a Batman 92 now because oh, Marvel X Men 92 oh is so popular. That would be so great. It would, it would I just read... be called Batman Adventures because that's what it was yeah. called in the, in that the was comics. Cool. 
Uh, um, I well, was and we all, next up on the list, we have the greatest comic ever bad. in existence. Oh my god, really, Benny? You're gonna cut off Sal? <laughs> <laughs> we can spare. We can spare an extra ten minutes. Sal, go no, ahead. He's got it. Ah, that's funny. All right. <laughs> Modok <laughs> assassin. Pass. No one cares about a floating guy who poops <laughs> himself. But, he, but he's in Killville. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, best use on my pile, so Earth X making him into a throne. Uh, I guess. Arcadia with the A Force. <laughs> Bar A-Force. Sinister with X Men Mutant Massacre. Limbo with X Men Inferno. The Deadlands with Marvel of Zombies. No. Oh, okay. uh, Perfection with Age of Ultron. New oh. Xander with the Infinity Gauntlet. And The Wall, where the shield lies. What does that even mean? They're on the Wall. The wall. They're They're on the wall. Wall. Is it is uh, it yeah, like man. the wall? Like, like it's, it's like it's like the, it's like the wall from like Game of Maybe? Thrones. Like like the all the uh, yeah. I see that. Oh, it's it's more like wall. an equator. No, it's a wall. Like, <laughs> Richard Rider's like being a, sent off to wear the like, black. I don't know. <laughs> like like from Imagination Land. <laughs> yes. It's like a wall that they're gonna put wallpaper on. And that's just gonna be the whole. Yeah, it's more like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> yeah, putting it's a big, wallpaper. It's a big that would be so amazing. Wall. Like I I want to see this. This is gonna look really dumb until it busts out. Because if there's a real wall, if there's a literal wall, <laughs> it's a literal wall that separates universes, does that mean that like if one universe makes a really big tower, you can see it from another universe? Like this is really <laughs> stupid. Think yes, the Great please. Wall of I China. That. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking of it. Maybe, like, maybe it's like a like a techno like a technological wall, like some sort of like like the like, barrier. I, I can like field. you like. So you could like you've got me in. like source wall. I know what the source wall is, <laughs> but like this hypothetical. No. All right. Anyway, maybe it's, it's like a a wall. that's it. I fit the end. You maybe can, you it's, guys can a maybe wall it's a wall made out of like little decoys. Maybe it's the wall where I buy music in the nineties. No, ah. maybe maybe it's literally like the. Does wall. Does anyone like... else remember Newberry's comics? Just yes. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> Their ads. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, so really quick, my my story about the Reddit's regarding X Men ninety two. The on r slash comic books, some like somebody posted the the, the preview for X Men ninety two. Top comment was something like, um, "Am I excited about this? Does a mall baby eat chili fries?" Ah, there's then, the, then the top comment response was, "I don't know, you guys. No more for Beast on the cover. I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs." Oh, rogue! Yes. <laughs> then the next comment was, "This one's for you, more <laughs> abandoned subtlety and <laughs> just start talking about it." This one's for you, Morph! Oh, I go where I want to go! I was like, thank See, you. I, I'm just oh, happy God. they're doing that instead of something that's inspired by the movies X-Men, because I can't oh, stand Rogue God. in the movie. Because she's just so much like, I don't want to use my powers. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I just like, want regular fireworks Jubilee back for Fourth of yeah, July. Yeah, like, I just want to see, I want to like, read a comic where they just throw out like X-Men the Animated Series, because I want to see Wolverine and Sabretooth fighting each other, and Wolverine's like, like he knocks him down, he's on top of him, and he like busts out his claws, he's like, let's see what you had for breakfast. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, if you, want, if you want the cartoon series version of them, he won't actually use those yeah, claws. Exactly. Every time, <laughs> he, will, he will make an empty threat with his claws in every single episode, and then be thwarted from using them. Well, see, no, I'm no. See, happy. what they're going to do is they're going to fix that. Like, he's going to use his claws because it's the comic book. Right, because it's, com- <laughs> it's the comic book. See, I'm just happy that that X-Men 92 series is coming because Jubilee's in it, one of my favorite X-Men, and, and Dazzler. And Dazzler is actually in that universe. Dazzler. She was, like, in an episode for, like, ten yeah. minutes. Okay, well, no, oh. <laughs> Even X-Factor with Strong Guy and Wolves Bane are in that universe. <laughs> Dude, me and yeah. Faust had this conversation, like, like a week ago. And, and we, we were talking. We were talking for like ten minutes. of Faust was like, "Oh, I'm so glad Dazzler's coming back." I'm like, "Well, you're like the one person." <laughs> I will tell you, I liked playing as Dazzler in the old X Men's freestanding arcade game. Yeah, that's true. That was fun. But she could like make flashes yeah. of light, and, and she was like a herald once. Yeah, I guess. She was a herald like, don't forget! Don't forget that right now she's currently possessed by a demon or something like that, and working for Shield, and she's, she's also traveling. Her. She's also traveling through time with an Afro wearing Deadpool to kill zombie, uh, vampires know, back in the 1970s. That's a couple ago. Now, now she's not nearly as interesting. She's back <laughs> now, but now she just has a horrible costume that no one pays any attention to. No, she's so like her character. <laughs> she looks weirdly like comic book L19 now, and it makes me really <laughs> uncomfortable. I bet it's. I, I you know that's deliberate. You know <laughs> that's deliberate. <laughs> okay, you want to talk about comic book girl 19? Spider Man 29. His landlord is just comic yeah. book girl nineteen. Yeah, it is. Wow. It is. <laughs> That's what that I'm, had I'm to be intentional. intentional. Because what are, when are we going to be in comics? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Like, like I just, I just want to, like, I just want to be in a comic book. Like, I just want to be a guy 
where like Spider Man is like like swinging, you know, or something like that. And he was he looks down, and he's like, "What's that guy doing?" And like I'm just sitting there with my vape pen, and I'm just like, "Man, I'm just trying there to talk." And I'm <laughs> just like blowing the weekly poll, just hanging out somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Maybe you can't be vaping, man. There's no there's no smoking. In it's not smoking, world. man. It's vaping. <laughs> My God, man! All, a you know, all they need to do is have have it, have one issue with a panel where they walk past, and it's just me and Faust arguing about hair. <laughs> or, or, or they could have like Spider Man on his computer watching like the Weekly Pool podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we're sure. already, maybe we're already in the comics, and whenever we say, "Oh God, look at that asshole," that's us. That's we're looking at ourselves. I got, I got you something that, like, idiot. Bob, your idea of smoking, like, what's what's cooler looking? Wolverine wa like bursting through the door with a big stogie, or Wolverine bo bursting through going. <laughs> <laughs> the way of the future, man. Vaping's the way of the future. And he's Vaping like, you guys, future, man. man, you guys, let's just chill out. For like I'm, I'm going with the vaping. He looks good. Now, Joel's been trying to say something this whole time, but he's. I was going to say, you're talking about appearing in comics. I got so needlessly giddy this week in Superior Iron Man because he's selling a weapon to a general daily and he actually spells it the way I spell nice. my last name. And I'm like, oh, for a second, it's like Iron Man knew my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, try having a name like Sal without being a, having it be a mobster that Batman punches in the It's game. true. <laughs> I mean, with a name like Faust, I mean, there's Felix Faust, but I don't yeah. think that counts for actually, me. Doctor <laughs> Strange met Faust in hell at some point. <laughs> And you get like Dr. Faustus, the Captain America villain. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just everywhere. In no, don't worry. My, my name's Benny. I either get Benny Hill or Benny in the Jets. It's the only oh. joke. And then, and then when they find out my last name's Potter, it's, it's, it's every Harry Potter joke known mankind comes out. But, but Benny and the Jets. There it is. Hey, at least you got a good song. You got a good song? What do you got? Joe show is the dailies. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's I it. Guess that's that. And I guess we're going to end it on that one. Now now we should all end it with a roundabout song as an, ex an exit. Now it's going to be like Mad Lib. So we'll each say one word, all right? Oh, so we're going to do this. <laughs> we're all going to oh say God. one word as a sign down. All right, so This is going to be disastrous or it's going to be hilarious? <laughs> it know. might be both. <laughs> Sal, you have to kick it off. Go, what? Sal, say something. Yeah, kick it off. Wait, a song? No, we're going to Mad Lib an, an outro. Like, oh, okay. Outro. Thanks! Faust? Help! <laughs> <laughs> Armenes? PlayStation? <laughs> Rob? I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Just say a word. Yes. Yeah. Uh, peace? <laughs> I don't know. Joel? Napalm. Okay, so we just got... You thanks, doing help. I, I, I'm doing the full one. What? Thanks, help. PlayStation... What peace napalm? napalm. What, what kind of a sign a sound off is that? <laughs> it's an awesome sound oh, off. That's going someone on. Should, like, <laughs> someone should make like a little jingle with that and with a Casio keyboard. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh god, you know somebody's gonna auto tune this. Thanks, <laughs> help PlayStation napalm. Thanks, help PlayStation peace napalm. <laughs> peace get was with napalm. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we're way over time. We tried our best. We hope we we hope you guys enjoyed this with us staying a little more on topic and having a little more focus. Let us know at theweeklypoll.net what you thought of today's episode. Go to the forums, and you'll see a little forum bracket there, the weekly poll. Go on on there and let us know what you thought about today's episode and about us having everyone on here. We know we had a lot of people on here, and I know our meanies were sitting there plotting everyone's death because he didn't say very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. but... <laughs> this really worked but... out, though. Yeah, it yeah no, awesome. I, think, I think it worked out pretty well, other than Faust being blackballed for the first 20 minutes, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say stuff, and you watched back the video, and I kept going... <laughs> yeah, like, Vinny, Vinny has a way of just, like, not letting you get a word it's, in. I wasn't course. even talking. It was, was Tiffany, <laughs> Sal, and you just going nuts. Hey, you invited me on specifically for that. If I don't talk about it, that makes you guys look like assholes. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's true. Well, <laughs> I'm fine with it, but I'm just saying that Rob cannot put that on me. So that, 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 for that 20 minutes, it was not me. I was sitting here just like, all right, well, let's keep going. If we can just have a dedicated <laughs> podcast about Aquaman, I'll never shut the hell up. It's so true. <laughs> that is true. We'll have that next time. All right, guys, that's Sal and Tiffany from TV Little House. Go check them out for daily on the like on the couch discussions about comic books that is faust from his super effective he does history of videos and he does his own like unique brand what do you do other than history of like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? Uh, what's your name felix what <laughs> i do stuff like sexuality and comics and i explain yes, who the hell okay. people are and
I don't even know why I forgot about that, because that's actually the video that I saw first in your channel, but whatever. He does a lot of explanations about comic books and stuff like that. That is Arminis and Joel of Comic Book Cast. They bring you a video every day. As a matter of fact, they bring you like 10 every day. They yeah, will bro. explain everything in existence that involves the word comic book in it. True. That is Rob from Comics Explained. If you don't know who he is, what are you doing on this what channel? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you just stumble in? <laughs> and I'm Benny, the comic story, and you can go check out my stuff for Dramatically Red Comics. Very soon, we're going to be popping this over at Hitbox. You'll find us over there. And don't forget about the weekly poll net that is our community website where we have a large forum where you can just chat about comics with us and everyone else is over there and even super effective comic book cast is over there I mean, they aren't right now but i'll force joel later uh <laughs> <laughs> Joel's frozen in the most funniest face I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh. He's disappeared. He's gone. <laughs> and there's Sal. What the hell? We're just losing people. We're losing people. Just, it's people dropping like flies. Man. We should have to go, guys. Go. The incursion's it's happening. It's working. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining us. And we'll be here next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Yep, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.